Hey guys, um, making this video. This is another, um, this is another six feet under video. And um, I'm, <laughs> it's funny because, um, yeah, I was just watching my uh, six feet under video a little bit, the one, the show review and stuff like that. And um, I'm not gonna have a, I'm having a hard time sitting still right now. I kind of need to organize my glove box some. But anyway, um, what I'm getting at is I want to make another video about uh, six feet under and kind of talk about that a little bit. I wish I could zoom out, but I can't. Um, anyway, so yeah, this video is, uh, for anybody who wants to watch it, but it's, you know, especially for people who have watched the show six feet under and, um, yeah. So I just kind of wanted to share some thoughts I had about it. It's a really, really awesome show. I'm a little distracted, sorry. Um, it's a really, really awesome show. And um, I really like it. I feel such an urgency to like uh, say what I'm trying to say because I don't want to like waste you guys' time. But I know, you're, I know I'm not wasting your time. So it's just funny. It's funny how we are at different points in our lives. Um, it's funny how that goes, but yeah, I was, I was listening to my, watching my video that I made already about the show, about how I was going through some stuff at the time that I watched it. And I just had some more thoughts about that. I kind of wanted to share and, um, it's deep, it's personal, but I, I do want to share it cause it's, it's, uh, it's interesting to me. I think it's, it's interesting cause it's helpful. Um, I, yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because it's helpful. It's helping me. It helps me to make sense of things, to process things more um, by talking about this and I know that that'll help people deal with it too um, who are also going through things I know that me making sense of my struggles and things that I'm going through help other people make sense of the struggles and things that they are going through so that's really exciting that's a really exciting thing for me and that sort of thing makes me really happy so with that said, I'll just kind of um, set the stage a little bit and share some things. And this is kind of, um, I don't want to say it's dangerous, but I don't think anyone's going to find this video who shouldn't find this video um, or who I would, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that I've been through in my life. And um, so, yeah, this is a video about six feet under, but it's also a personal video, too. And. Let me just say that I like that Six Feet Under is an awesome show and it shows each character's life through that person's eyes and through that person's experience. And it shows how deep life goes, how deep life can be, right? Because there's so many things that we go through and it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. And nobody's life is simple. That's something that we should really, really remember and that's definitely helped me out a lot, so... I'm, yeah, I'm making this video to help people, um, help people make sense of their life and while making sense of my own, while helping myself make sense of my own life. So it's pretty cool. Um, but, um, yeah, I love this stuff. <laughs> um, so I, I got married really young. And it was to someone who was from the other side of the country who ended up in my neck of the woods. And I met her and I was like, I had recently been going through some stuff and I was just like, <sighs> I'm so over. I'm just, I was like, I was like 17 or 18 and I was just like, man, I'm so done with this dating thing right now. I'm like so done with it. It's like so lame. It's so annoying. I had my heart broken and um, legitimately broken about something. And it was just like, I just felt like, uh, I felt like, uh, this is such a waste. This is such a, uh. and then I met this person and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, snap. You know, like maybe all the other stuff I said before, maybe I just need to go ahead and like, you know, let go of that stuff or pretend I never said it. Maybe I'll just like pretend that I never said it or focus on that at all. Maybe I'll just focus on this person now. So focus on that person and we started dating and all. And um, she told me right away from the beginning, hey, 
no matter where this relationship goes, like on the first date, like no matter where this goes, I'm just giving you a heads up. I'm moving back to XYZ part of the country. And which was the other side of the country. She's like, I'm doing this, this is happening. I'm not sure when, but it will happen. And I'm letting you know now so that you know. And I was like, all right. I was like, I was like, okay, okay. I can do that, okay, okay. You know? And instead of like, ah, oh, no, I don't think so, no. I was like, I was like, yeah, okay, okay. So we dated and everything and we dated for a while um, over a year, we worked together, things like that, at the little place we worked at, and got closer, and I moved, I went on a vacation with her to her, where she was from, her hometown, across the country, which meant I get on a plane for the first time, and flew over there, really crazy, big, big deal for me, big deal for me, grew up in a small town, and all of a sudden, I'm in the big city, you know, wow, the whole thousands of miles away from home, thousands of miles away from home. What? And um, so, yeah. And then, then about a year passed and it was starting to get to the point where it was like, oh, well, it seems like. And then she kind of told me and it was like, um, started figuring out that, OK, this is things are really happening. And she really is going to be moving west or wherever she lived. Anonymous. <laughs> and um I was like, oh shoot, I was like, okay, well I kind of need to do, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do, but it wasn't really that scary or shocking to me. It was kind of just like, oh, well, just go with her. That's what makes sense. It's like, just go with her, you know, everything will be fine, just go with her. And I mean, it was like, I was leaving my family, but I had the courage, I had courage for some reason. I had the courage to do it. I was moving away from home, away from everything I'd ever known, everyone I'd ever known, ever, 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 moving thousands of miles away from everyone I'd ever known, and everything I'd ever known. So it was a pretty, pretty big move, moving away as a, a 19, 20 year old, something like that, 19 year old, something like that. 19 or 20, something like that. And I had younger siblings who were growing up still, and I was leaving. And that's just a part of life. That's just what happens sometimes. People go to school, people go to college, people move away, people do things, people make moves. And this was my first move. This is my first little literal move. And I made this move with her. So I moved out there and we lived, we lived together. We lived with her family at first until we got our own place. Then we got our own place and lived together. And um, we were figuring, we were figuring that out, figuring out living together growing up together um or, or figuring out being being becoming and being adults together what it means to adult and so that was interesting and i grew up a christian i, I grew up a christian if you don't already know from some of my other videos you might figure that out but um yeah so we didn't grow up with we never swore in our house saying cuss words was always bad um we never watched rated r movies like my mom would sometimes or like my dad might you know, sometimes, but I never did growing up and I wasn't allowed. We weren't even allowed to watch Harry Potter. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. So, um, what I'm getting at is me and this person who I was moved, moved away from home with in this serious relationship, committed relationship and all, we started watching Dexter, the show Dexter. And we, this is like when we first started getting, we start, first started getting Netflix, like for the first time. We're like, holy shoot, what's this Netflix? Netflix, what? This is cool. So we started watching Dexter. We started binging Dexter. We binged Dexter, right? And it was so good. And we watched it all. We watched it all the way until it was current. Until we watched all the seasons on Netflix and we watched it all the way until we were up to the point where it was on TV and we watched we would, and we got Showtime. And then we would watch that. And that show's got some stuff in it. It's a mature rated show. And um, so it was out of my box a little bit, breaking me out of my box a little bit, what I'm used to and things like that. And I trying to abandon my roots and all that stuff, but just, you know, embracing the change, embracing the new life, so to speak. And so watched that whole show and it was amazing. I was like, oh, it's amazing. Ah. And something happened. I remember it was Black Friday. And it was like, we, we had, it was, yeah, it was Thanksgiving, and we just binged the crap out of Dexter. And then it was like, 
you know, stayed up late. And then the next morning was like, we didn't go Black Friday shopping that night, but we were like, um, you know, I think the next morning I was like, I think I'm going to go out to Walmart and I think I'm going to go out there and, uh, see what I can find from Black Friday left over, you know, see what I can find out there, you know? And she was like, 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 all right, like, do you have to, do you, do you have to? And I was like, 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 yeah, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I have to, I want to, <laughs> you know, but, uh, I didn't have the courage to really say that. I was just like, you know, yeah, like, yeah, I do, you know? And, um, so I went to Walmart and they had a whole bunch of DVDs for sale, super cheap because it was still Black Friday prices, like dirt cheap. And they had all the stuff that they don't normally have, right? Cause they always get, they always get an influx of items that they don't normally sell during Black Friday. And so they had six feet under seasons on DVD in there. And I was like, yo, six feet under though. I was like this, the packaging, the art direction, everything about this, the aesthetic, everything. I was like, man, this looks fresh. This looks good. I don't know what this is. I'm scared. I haven't ever seen this before. I'm scared. What am I getting myself into? This is going to be some harsh stuff. There's going to be like nudity in here. There's going to be like, what? I don't know. There's going to be like, yo, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not trying to be about that life. You know, I'm not trying to like get all up on that train, but I got the seasons anyway. I got them anyway. I got like one, two, and three, I think. Um, and I could be mistaken about this. I might be mistaken, but I think if I'm not mistaken, I bought the first season and then I went back and got more. I'm trying to remember. I think I may have gotten the first season somehow and then went back and got more. I'm trying to remember. I think I did. I think I went back and got more like three, four seasons more because it was just dirt cheap. They're like 20 bucks a piece or something like, you know, ridiculous. And so I was like, all right, let's do this. So I got all these six feet under episodes, right? And I was working graveyard shift overnights and my um, girlfriend and um, I think she had become my wife or was getting ready to become my wife. I, we were already married. Yeah, we were already married. I think we were married already. But um, I was watching the show and I was working really late at night. So I'd watch the show during the day. And I had such a weird relationship with life because I was working all night long and then coming home and when I should be asleep, it was the daytime. So just crazy. I felt alone and she was at work all day while I was at home all day. And I was at work all night while she was at home all night. <laughs> so asleep all night. So just crazy, crazy dynamic and all. So I just watched the show and I was, um, I was like, dang, this show is really good. They, they say, you know, they, there's some cussing in this for sure. There's some, some gay, there's some, you know, there's some, there's some homosexuality in this show for sure. Like, pretty graphic in some scene in like in one scene especially but pretty graphic with like the guy on guy kissing and stuff like that and uh you know there just wasn't something I was used to like watching you know like I wasn't used to being like I'm sitting here right now and I'm watching this show because I like it and there's and there's a big portion of that of of that in here and um so it was interesting it stretched me it stretched me a bit it stretched my boundaries and stretched my um things like that. So, um, yeah, it was just interesting, but so I was watching the show and I was just really kind of getting really close to it, really close to the characters in the show. And all my family members were on the other side of the country. And in a way I kind of really left everyone behind in a way. I mean, I didn't leave them behind, but I moved away and I had never really processed that. I never really like, I never really processed that. Like my really special grandmother was home and um, she was getting older. My pop up had already died and you know, she was getting older and all this stuff. And it's just, I never really thought that like, you know, I just need to come home. I need to just break up and just come home. I never thought that I, um, cause I could, I, I feel like, I feel like that's what I was supposed to do, but I chose not to. I feel like that was a thing I could have done, but I chose not to. And if I had done that, I really don't know what, have ha what would have happened. I think it would have been a lot harder for me. Life would have just been really hard coming back and being like figuring things out and all this stuff's going on. I think it would have been just too hard. I think it's what I needed because it really got me away from a lot of things I was going through at home, growing up, all the situations, everything got me away from all that. But, you know, I wasn't a new ball game and a new play field, new you know, a new playground or whatever, whatever you want to say, new, new environment. And so it was tricky, but, um, 
it was just really interesting. And I don't know when this video is going to end because it could cut out at any time because my memory on my phone will fill up. Hopefully I can go 20 minutes. I'm hoping for 20 minutes, but we'll see here. And, um, yeah. So, um, I got really close to the characters in the show and I was watching the show and it was like really helped me process things. I was like, man, I'm process. Like, I'm, I, I was like, I love the show. And, and it didn't end up being a show that I watched with my wife because I tried that, but it was like, mm -mm, no, it's not her cup of tea and it's not for her. It was like, this is for me. And I'll, it was like, it was like, I just need to watch this show. I just need to watch this show. And so I just watched that show and it became something for me. It became, you know, it became like, uh, became something that I, it became a part of me basically. And I watched, I watched a lot of shows and I played a lot of Call of Duty, a lot, a lot, a lot of Call of Duty, way too much Call of Duty on my days off, on my time at home when I should have been asleep and I was awake. Uh, a lot of life spent that way. I think I spent probably about, not five years, but probably, you know, at least a few years, at least a few years doing that. And that was, uh, it's pretty intense, pretty intense. <laughs> but anyway, this show really, um, changed my life and it really helped me feel comforted and not alone. I didn't have much of a really, I didn't have much of a relationship with God at the time. And I felt really far away from my family and everyone I knew. But I was just like, it was just okay. Cause it was like, well, part of me was like, well, what am I going to do? Like, how do I get out of here? I have to be, here. I have to stay here. This is like, this is just what my life is. I have to accept this. And this is just how life is. I can't just like get up and leave. Like I'm married. I'm, we have a place, we have responsibilities. I have a job, we have bills, all this stuff. And I was like, I can't leave that behind. I can't ever leave that behind. Right. Long story short, I did. <laughs> I did one day, like a couple years later I did, but, um, and that was crazy and that's another story but um it was just really really crazy and I just remember feeling kind of disconnected from my wife from time to time and it was just like we were growing apart and it was like I would try sharing sharing things with her I'd be like I'd be like hey look look at I was like this is really really cool like like look at this like check this out check this out and she would just be like Like, really, 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 you know? And that was, like, her typical response to a lot of that. And that was, like, really, like, oh, ah, oh, right in the heart, you know? And I'd be like, okay, I get it. Like, Kermit shirt. It's like, I get it. You don't like this. You don't like that, you know? But it just felt so, it just felt like, dang, man. Like, maybe, maybe she should just, like, maybe she should, like, appreciate that I like this maybe she should care that I like this and uh she didn't really and so that really started shining light <laughs> I'm making some serious progress right now in this part of the, of the getting through this and um it really shined a light and really helped me see some things for what they were and it was we were locked in we were we were married we and then we had a house we got a house we were renting and so it was we were really locked into life and I was really like this is just how this is and this ain't ever this ain't ever getting any better and that's a really uh that's a tough that was a tough conclusion to come to really tough conclusion and um I mean I'm a pretty optimistic person I pretty like can find the good in anything you know and I can I can figure out good things but um yeah I, I knew that that was just how it was and I, I this like I started listening to Joe Rogan I started doing um I started like just going in my own direction I started living my I started going in my own direction and it wasn't unreasonable I mean some of the things I did I, there was like one thing I did that was like I won't mention it but there was something I did that wasn't um wasn't normal and I did this thing one time it was like a big deal because it was like, what? You did that? What? What? And she was just like, um, she was like, unbelievable. Like, she just, she was beside herself. She was like, so upset at me. Just frustrated and everything. And, but it wasn't because of that. It was more so because I was just realizing like, dude, like, life is so awesome. And there's so many wonderful things to do. It's so much fun to have. And she was just like, 
like a bump on a log and it was just really frustrating. I felt really disconnected from her. So yeah, this is a six feet under video, but anyway, this, cause like, this is, this is like <laughs> just sharing the things I went through, but yeah, we made 20 minutes, but, um, yeah, it's just interesting. And that, that show, so the show was there for me and it really helped me. It helped me feel not alone and it helped me appreciate life more, helped me look at life more helped me treasure life more. And it's one of the things that helped inspire me to make probably the biggest decision of my life, probably when I decided to um, break up with her and and leave and end, end our marriage and all. And um, I'm so glad I did that. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, man, should I have done that? You know, things haven't really gone according to plan and Things haven't really worked out the way I would like them to or how I'd want them to uh, in cer at certain times or in certain ways. But I'm so thankful I made that decision and I'm, I'm thankful for the show Six Feet Under and I'm really, um, yeah, I'm really appreciative for it. And I think that if you watch it, you'll be inspired. It's an inspiring show and um, yeah, so I, I encourage you to watch it. It is, like I've said before, it is an intense show. It's got a lot of, it's it's an adult show. It's got a lot of, you know, nudity, swearing, some pretty messed up violent images, some drugs, stuff like that, sex scenes, um, things like that, you know. But anyway, that's not what it is predominantly. It's just, that's just, it's a part of it. And, um, but it's a good show. And um, I really related to a lot of people in the show and it made me, really I think some I think that show really reached helped me find some of the deepest emotions I've been able to feel and that's a good thing some of the deepest things help or help me at least identify them it helped me shine a light on them appreciating life and things like that but um yeah so I just felt encouraged to make a six feet under video and I'm thankful I could share my experience and this is where it gets good because I don't know where this video is going to end. It could end at any second. And you know how you know where and when it ends because you're watching it. I don't know where it ends while I'm making this because I don't know how much storage I have left. And this is what it's about right here because we don't know how much time we have left. We don't know how much time there is in life. It could end at any second. It could end at any second. And so that's why we need to be so thankful. That's why we need to be appreciative for the things that we have in our lives, the people we have in our lives. And, um, yeah, I don't want to lose sight of that. And I don't want to get comfortable and focus on just not being appreciative. I don't want to be afraid to live and I don't want to be afraid to die, but I want to appreciate the time that I have. And I want to appreciate everyone while they're here, you know, and I know that we'll see, I know that we can see our family together again. We can be with our family forever. I know that, I know that that's true. And, um, because I'm a member of the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and we know that families are forever. And if you get sealed to your family, you can be with them forever. And that's true. So it's definitely, that's definitely the truth. And you can, you can be with your family forever. But life is a precious gift. Life is sacred. And life is not to be taken for granted. So I'm just really thankful for that. I have a new perspective now. But um, I'm super thankful for the decision I made. I'm super thankful for Six Feet Under. I'm thankful for how much it encouraged me to um, make a difference in my life and to make the changes I needed to make. And I'm super appreciative of that, I'm super appreciative of the characters and I cry and I weep inside my heart and soul for the characters of the show because it's so sad because I just wish that they didn't die. <laughs> you know, I wish it didn't end. I wish this story didn't end. And it's a beautiful show. It's really uh, Peter Krause, the actor, the main character, he said, the show's a work of art. And it is, it is a work of art. And they could have gone longer, but they didn't. And that epitomizes the show. Life is sacred. Life is sweet. Cherish it while you have it. So anyway, that's my second Six Feet Under video. So if you're a Six Feet Under fan, I hope you appreciated this. And I hope the whole video wasn't about Six Feet Under, but I, I hope you I hope you like my story. And those are all true. And um, if you want to know about how families can be together forever, just talk to me. Send me a message or a comment or something, and I'll tell you more about it. Because it's super true. And uh, we all want to be together forever, all of our family members and us, even the ones we don't get along with. We want to, we do, we do ultimately at our core love them. So 
So I wanted to say that, and I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm thankful to you for watching this, amen. And I'm thankful to you for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time, and I re respect you, and I, um, yeah. I love you guys, so thank you.